basically what the IO drive is, is essentially we have col collapsed the full functionality and feature set of a Enterprise SAN into a PCI Express card. Um, when you think about why companies are aggregating disks today, it's not for capacity, it's actually for performance. And so what you have these companies who are aggregating literally a thousand disks together to try to eke out more and more performance, and what we've done is we've collapsed that down into a single PCI Express card using basically NAND flash and a couple of our own proprietary technologies. We have integrated onto a single PCIe card. Um, in this card, it's an 80 gigabyte card. We have the ability to go up to currently a 320 as well as a 640 gigabyte card. So what you have at the end is a PCI Express card, which in an enterprise server, you have the CPU, the memory, and then the storage all sitting on the same bus, which gives you a completely balanced system. And it also eliminates all that back-end infrastructure that is currently being used to get the performance that uh, companies need today. What kind of performance are you talking about? How many IOPS? I mean, Intel last week was talking about 50x, I mean, Pat Gell. That was a great question to ask yeah. me. <laughs> So, out of this Great card, I ask you because I used to work with Intel. Uh -huh. um, this card, we actually can provide 100,000 IOPS. The 100,000 IOPS is, is what you typically get today in a full enterprise SAN with 700 plus disks. So, when you think about it, if you can eliminate the disks, the fiber channel switches, all of that back end infrastructure, and integrate that onto a single card that retails for approximately 30 gigabytes per $30 per gigabyte, that's a pretty significant capital. So, that's what it's going to be? Uh, $30, $30 per gigabyte? Roughly $30 per gigabyte. Compared to $0.50? Cents no, 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 $0.50 cents is your consumer pricing today for NAND flash. Network storage today runs for anywhere from $30 to um, $50 per gigabyte. So for a full network storage today, it's pretty significant um, expense.